This is an example of how to use the L'Hopital's rule in order to find the limits of the function. For an example, if you want to find the limit of the functions e to the x plus 10 x raised to 1 over x when x goes to infinity. As the first glance, you want to plug infinity into the axis to see if you can find the solution right away. Right? If you plug infinity into x, here you get infinity in the parentheses. And then in the power, you get 1 over infinity will be 0. So this limit here is in the form of infinity raised to alpha. So then the trick is you want to um, maybe let y be the functions e to the x plus 10x raised to 1 over x. And then since you have the power 1 over x, it's hard to deal with as a power. You want to uh, move it down to by uh, take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of y will be equal to natural log of the functions. And then you can use the power rule of logarithm to move 1 over x down to the front. So now we have natural log of y equals to um, natural log of e to the x plus 10x divided by x. Now we want to find the limit at x goes to infinity of this function, which is the natural log of y. Keep in mind, this function is a natural log of y, OK? At x goes to infinity. And if we observe this functions right now, if we plug infinity into x, we get uh, the form into inter interdeterminant form um, infinity over the infinity. So as soon as we get this form, then remember we can use the, the L'Hopital's rule um, in order to find this limits right here. Okay. The L'Hopital's say that you take, if you have the form of infinity over infinity, then you can um, take the derivative of the top divided by the derivative of the bottom as a limit of the functions. And if we take the limit of the top here, you have a u chain rule, and that's going to give you e to the x plus 10 over e to the x plus 10x. And the derivative of x is just 1. So now the goal is to find this limit here, and you see that there is a um, function e to the x on the top and the bottom. We do a little trick. We divide. Uh, the top and the bottom by e to the x and take x to the infinity then you get zero on this terms right here 10 over infinity zero probably 10 x over e to the x will go to zero at x equal to zero and then you have one here and you will have one here so the answer for this limit is one all right now, just as a reminder, we found the limit of this function. And we remember that this function here is the natural log of y. Okay. And we know that y equals to e to the natural log of y, because e and natural log canceled. Then in order to find the limit of x goes to infinity of y, we take e raised to the limit of natural log of y. And we know that the limit of the natural log of y, we found it earlier, is 1. So then the limit of y should be e to the 1, which is just e. As a conclusion, the limit of this functions here at x goes to infinity, it is going to be e.